Good day everyone, I'm Anna Marie Baloran, the Group 3 reporter of BSDS 2 Our topic is all about operating systems, managing, coordinating, and monitoring resources. But before I start the discussion, let me say first the objectives of operating system. Objectives Explain the purpose of operating system. Describe the startup process and shutdown options on computers and mobile devices. Explain how an operating system provides a user interface, manage programs, manage memories, and coordinates tasks. Describe how an operating system enables user to configure devices, establish an internet connection, and monitor performance. Identify file management and other tools included with an operating system along ways to update operating system software. Explain how an operating system enables user to control a network or administer security. Summarize the features of several desktop operating systems such as Windows, Mac operating system, Unix, Linux, and Chrome operating system. Briefly describe various server operating systems, Windows Server, Mac operating system server, Unix, and Linux. And the last is, summarize the features and uses of several mobile operating systems, Google Android, Apple operating system, and Windows Mobile Edition. So, that's all the objectives of operating system. And now, let's discuss the topic which is all about operating system. What is operating system? An operating system is a set of programs that coordinate all the activities among the computer or mobile device hardware. It allows users to control a network and administer security. So, it means that an operating system is the one will manage all the hardware or software programs and applications that a computer or mobile device can able to run. And the operating system also designed to control the hardware of a, spe of a specific data processing system in order to allow user and application programs to make use of it. An operating system also can run from a USB flash drive, media in an optical drive, or an external drive. In most cases, an operating system resides in a computer or mobile device. Operating System Functions Every computer and mobile device has operating system, regardless of the type of the computer or device. However, the operating system provides many similar functions. These functions include starting and shutting down the computer or mobile devices, providing a user interface, managing programs, managing memory, coordinating tasks, configuring devices, monitoring performances, establishing an internet connection, updating operating system software, providing file and disk management tools, controlling a network, and last is administering security. The first operating system functions, which is starting computers and mobile devices. If a computer or mobile device is off, you press a power button to turn it on. If it is on, you may need to restart the computer or mobile device for a variety of reasons. When you start or restart a computer or mobile devices, a series of messages may appear on the screen. The actual information displayed varies depending on the make and type of the computer or mobile device and the equipment installed. The startup process, however, is similar for large and small computers and mobile devices as described in the following steps. Step 1 is when you turn on the computer or mobile device, the power supply or battery sends an electrical current to circuitry in the computer or mobile device. Step 2. The charge of electricity causes the processor chips to reset itself and finds the firmware that contains startup instructions. Step 3. 
the startup process executes a series of tests to check the various components. Step 4. If the tests are successful, the kernel of the operating system and other frequently used instructions load from the computer or mobile device internal storage media to its memory or RAM. To those who don't understand what is kernel, the kernel is the core of an operating system that manages memory and devices, maintains the internal clock, runs program, and assigns the resources such as devices, programs, apps, data, and information. It is also a memory resident, which means it remains in memory while the computer or mobile device is running. The step 5 of startup process is the operating system in memory takes control of the computer or mobile device and load system configuration information. The operating system may verify that the person attempting to use the computer or mobile device is a legitimate user. The second operating system functions is shutting down the computer or mobile device. Some users choose to leave the computers and mobile devices running continually and rarely turn them off. Computers and devices that are left on always are available, and users often run and back up or other similar program while the computer or mobile device is not being used. Other users choose to shut down their computers and mobile devices regularly. To turn off the computer or mobile device, you may be required to use operating system commands. Press keyboards, keys, push a power button or combination of these methods. Power options include shutting down the computer or mobile device, placing it in sleep mode or placing it in hibernating mode. The difference between sleep mode and hibernating mode is the sleep mode saves any open documents and running programs or apps to RAM turns off all unneeded functions and then places the computer in a low power state. While the hibernate mode, by contrast, saves any open documents and running programs or apps to an internal hard drive before removing power from the computer or device. Hello everyone, my name is Francine Levy Pamelosa. So, before I start, I just want you to ask, what is providing a user interface? For me, a providing user interface is also called UI or simple as interface. A user interface is a method of controlling a software application or a hardware device. A, a good user interface gives their user a user-friendly experience by allowing them to interact with software or hardware in a natural and straightforward manner. The purpose of good UI is to make the user's, user's inter interaction with the system simple and intuitive inquiries the user to put in the final bit of effort in order to obtain the best possible result. So let's proceed. So this is the types of user interface. The first one is command line interface, form-based form user interface, graphical user interface, menu-driven user interface, touch user interface, voice user interface. Form-based user interface. It is used to enter data into a prog program or application by providing on only a few options. A device's settings menu, for example, is a form-based. This user interacts with application by choosing one of several options and entering text into field that accept it. Menu driving user interface. It is a user interface that navigates through a software or website using a list of options. ATMs. It makes use of 
panels or menus that allows user to choose what to do next. Touch user interface. It is a computer pointing technology based upon the sense of touch. Haptic input is used by tablet and any other device with a touch screen. Voice user interface. A user interface that are used through speech and known as voice user interface. Smart speakers and voice assistants are common examples of speech user interface. Speech recognition and natural language understanding technologies are used in voice user interface to convert using speech into text and meaning. Graphical user interface. Some people pronounce it as GUI. Um, a graphical interface for me is also called GUI. It is a type of user interface through which users interact with ele electronic devices via visual indicator. Representations also interacts with graphical icons instead of text. Next is command line interface. What is CLI? CLI stands for command line interface. Interact with a system or application. Application by typing in text. The command is typed on a, a specific line following a visual prompt from the computer. So, what are the difference between graphical user interface and command line interface? The difference between GUI and CLI is that the graphical user interface allows the user to interact with system, graphical elements such as windows, icons, memory, while the command line interface allows allows the user to interact with the system using command. Managing program. Program management is a process of managing several related projects, often with the intention of improving on organization performance. In my own understanding, the process of managing numerous related initiatives with the goal of increasing an organization's performance and the use of information, skills, goals, and strategies to achieve program criteria is known as program management. So this is the tips on how you will manage your program. Define project scope. Know your timeline. Access your available resources. Create a project plan. Communicate with the team. Delegate work according to available resources. M managing memory. It is a method in the operating system to manage operations between main memory disk during process execution. A memory management is a type of resource management that is used to manage the memory of a computer. Memory management must be able to dynamically assign sections of memory to application as they request it, and then free it for reuse when it is no longer to require. This is the, these are the some tips of memory management. Avoid malloc. Use memory byte pools for task allocation only. Use memory block pools for dynamic memory allocation. Statistically allocate memory. Minimize RTOS object use. Change 
the compiler's default optimizing settings. Monitor the memory map file. Coordinating tasks. The operating system determines the order in which tasks are perceived. Tasks include receiving data from an input device, processing instructions, sending information to an output device, and transferring items from storage to memory and from memory to storage. Ang operating system ay may pagkasunod-sunod na kung saan proseso ang mga gawain. Ang operating system ay pinamamahalaan ng processor kabilang ang mga gawain nito. Ang pagtanggap ng data mula sa isang input device, processing instruction, sending information sa isang output device, at ang pagtatransfer ng items mula sa storage patungo sa memory. Configuring device, a driver, it is a small program which tell the operating system on how to communicate with a specific device. Each device connected to a computer such as a mouse, keyboard, monitor, printer, card reader, digital cameras, webcams, or smartphones has its own specialized set of commands through required its own specific driver. Ang driver or device driver ang nagsasabi sa operating system kung paano may pag-communicate sa isang particular na device ang bawat device na nakonekta sa computer gaya ng mouse, keyboard, monitor, printer, card reader, at iba pa. Ay may sariling specialized set of commands na nangangailangan nito ng sariling particular na driver. Kapag nagsimula kang mag-computer o mag-connecta ng device gamit ang USB port, nilaload ng operating system ang driver ng device. Dapat naka-install ang mga driver ng bawat device para sa bawat mga nakakonektadong device para gumagana ng maayos ang device. Kung ikaw ay attach, kung ikaw ay nag-attach ng bagong device gaya ng portable media player o smartphone sa isang computer, dapat na naka-install ang driver nito. Monitoring performance A system performance monitor is a type of application that identifies, collects, monitors, and reports on the overall operational health of a computer system. It is a performance monitoring tool that enables end-users administrators and organizations to gauge and evaluate the performance of a given system. Ang isang performance monitor ay isang program na nag access at nagre-report ng impormasyon tungkol sa iba't ibang uri ng device ng computer gaya ng processors, drivers networks, and memory usage. Ang impormasyon ay tumutulong sa mga administration na tum tukuyin kung ano ang problema ng computer. Nang sa ganon ay madali itong malutas. Establishing an internet connection. Operating system typically provide a means to establish internet connection. You can establish wired connections such as cable and DSL or wireless connection such as Wi-Fi, mobile, broadband, and satellite. Ang operating system ay karaniyang nagbibigay ng paraan upang magtatag ng mga koneksyon sa internet. Maaari kang magtatag ng wired na koneksyon gaya ng cable at DSL o wireless na koneksyon tulad ng Wi-Fi. Ilang mga koneksyon ay otomatikong na-configure sa sandaling kumonekta ka sa internet. Sa iba, maaaring kailangan mong mag-setup ng isang koneksyon ng mano-mano. Kasama rin sa isang operating system ang isang browser na nagbibigay tan upang magsimula kang gamit ang web. May pag-communicate sa iba, sa iba, may pag-communicate sa iba, may pag-communicate sa iba sa sandaling may setup na ang internet connection. Minsan, may kasama rin itong firewall. At di ba pang mga tools upang maprotektahan ang mga computer at mobile device mula sa hindi otorisadong pangimasok sa isang unwanted software.
Hello ma'am, hello classmate. I'm Russell Espanyola, reporter from Group 3. My topics are updating operating system software, providing file, disk, and system management tools, controlling a network, administering security, and last is password. So let's start with updating operating system software. Many programs including Operating system includes an automatic update features that regularly provides new features or correction to the program. Maraming programs po kagaya ng operating system nagbibigay sa atin ng automatic update na nagbibigay ng new features or correction sa program. Example po niyan is yung mga nagdanotip sa cellphones or computer natin na new update. The operating system automatically checks to see if new updates are available. And if so, downloads them from the internet and install them on your computer. Chinecheck po ng operating system kung available ng new updates at pwede na, or meron na, pwede na natin itong i-download sa internet at install sa ating computer. Many software makers provide free downloadable updates, sometimes called server fact, to users who have registered and or activate their softwares. Maraming software makers po ang nagbibigay ng pre-downloadable updates na minsan ay tinatawag na server pack sa mga users na na-activate na nila or nakapag-registered na. Automatic update features can be configured to alert users when an update is available or to, down to download and install the update automatically. Kagaya po nung sinabi ko kanina, meron na Pag may new update, nagdanotip sa phone natin or sa devices natin. Pero meron din naman po, nag update na siya automatically. Enable automatic updates by default so that your computer or devices always has the most recent features. Pwede po natin i-enable ang automatic updates para laging merong recent features ang computer or devices natin. Users can disable or defer automatic updates if necessary because these updates can require additional resources or potentially interfere with critical work. Tayong mga users po, pwede nating disable ang automatic updates if ayaw natin kasi minsan may mga additional resources ito or nagloloko. Users without in an internet connection usually can order the updates on an optical disk for minimal shipping fee. Um, yung mga users naman po na walang internet connection, pwedeng umorder ng optical disc. Um, kagaya po yan, ayun po yung optical disc yun na sa example. So, may ipapanood po ako sa inyo na, na nakuha kong example kung paano mag-update ng operating system Windows 7. topic is providing file, this and system management tools. Nagpo-provide ng operating system ng mga variety of tools kung paano i-managing ang computer, ang devices niya at programs. So, ito po yung mga tools and functions ng bawat isa. First is file manager. Pwede tayong mag-organize ng files sa folders, copying, renaming, deleting, moving, and sorting files. Next is search. Ina-attempt to locate files on your computer or mobile devices based on specified criteria. Image viewer display ka display copies and prints the content of graphic files. Next is uninstaller. Removes a program or app as well as any associated entries in the system files. 
this cleanup searches for and remove unnecessary piles. This defragmenter re reorganizes the files and unused space on, a com on computer hard disk so that the operating system accesses data more quickly and programs and app run faster. Next is screensaver. Cause a display screen to show moving image or blank screen if no keyboard or mouse activity occurs for a specified time. Next is file compression. Shrink the size of file. Next is PC maintenance. Identifies and fixes operating system problems, detect and refers drive problem, and includes the, the capability of improving a computer performance. Backup and restore. Copies selected files or the content of an in, entire storage medium to another storage location. Next and last is power management. Monitors a laptop or mobile devices is controlling a network. Some operating systems are designed to work with a server on a network. This multi-users operating system allow multi-users to share a printer, internet access, files, and program. Mayroong mga operating system na dinesign na may server sa network. Ang mga multi-users operating system, pinapayagan niya ang mga multi-users na gumamit ng printer, maka-access ng internet, files, at mga programs. Operating system have network features built into them. Ang mga operating system ay mayroong mga network feature na nakabuild sa kanila. The operating system on the client computer or mobile devices that access the network. At connected to the network, the client computer uses their own operating system. Pag hindi po connected sa network yung client computer, ginagamit na lang po nila yung sarili nilang operating system. When connected to the network, the operating system on the network may assume some of the operating system functions on the client computer or mobile devices. Pag connected naman po sa network ang operating system, ay matik na na magpo-function sa computer or mobile devices ng client. The network administrator, the person overseeing network operations, uses the server operating system to add and remove users' computer and other devices to from the network. In short po, ang network administrator control niya lahat. And last about the con controlling a network is the network administrator also uses the operating system on the network to configure the network, install software, and admi administer network security. Next topic is administering security. Network administrator as well as owners of computers typically have an administrator account that enables them to access all files and programs, install programs, and specified settings that affect all users on a computer, mobile devices, or network. Ang ibig sabihin po nito is, ang network administrators or ang owner ng isang computers, mayroon silang tinatawag natin na administrator account na nag sa kanila na ma-access lahat. So, ayun po yung example ng administrator account nasa taas. Then, ito po yung mga pwede natin gawin. Settings include creating users accounts and establishing permission. These permissions define who can access certain resources and when they can access those resources. The network and last is the network administrator or computer owner establish a user's account. And last is password. A password is a private combination of characters associated with user's name that allow access to certain computer, mobile device, or network resources. Some operating system allow the network administrator to assign password to files and command restricting access authorized users. So, ang password po is a private combination of characters and lahat naman po tayo nowadays is gumagamit na ng password to protect our information and also for safety. Thank you, that's all. Uh, good evening, ma'am and classmates. So, sub-operating system, 
Device dependent program is one that runs only on a specific type or make a computer or mobile. So, ang device dependent na mga operating system ay isa sa malaking bintahe na maaari mong mapanatili ang naumiral ang isang software ng application at mga file ng data kahit na baguhin mo ang mga modelo ng computer o vendor. So, the next is pro proprietary software is privately owned and limited to a specific vendor or computer or model. So, ano nga ba to? So, ang proprietary software ay kilala din bilang isang non-free software or closed source software. Ito ay computer software kung saan inilalaan ng publisher ng software o ng ibang tao ang ilang mga karapatan mula sa mga lisensya upang gamitin, baguhin o ibahagi ang software. Example ng mga operating system by category is this desktop Windows, Max, Max OS, Unix, Linux, and Chrome OS. Server Windows Serve, Maxus Server, Unix, and Linux. Mobile Google, Android, Apple, iOS, Windows, or Mobile Edition. So, desktop operating system. A desktop operating system, sometimes called a stand-alone operating system, is a complete operating system that works on desktops, laptops, and some tablets. Desktop operating system sometimes are called are called client operating system because they also work in conjunction with a server operating system. Client operating system can operate with or without a network. Example of the more widely used desktop operating system are Windows, Mac OS, Unix, Linux, and Chrome OS. So, ano nga ba to? Ang operating system na ito ay siya yung ganap na gumagana upang ihiwalay mula sa isang network, sa isang computer o mobile device. Tinitiyak din ng operating system na ito na ang mga gawain ng isang operating system ay maisa sa gawa sa isang device. Window User Interface allow, allows you access to apps, tiles, folder, and files on the computer or mobile device and to run programs. Search the following screen, show the components of the documents and websites, customize the computer or mobile device, and obtain in help. You click tiles to run apps and double click icons to run apps. So, ito naman ay ang window interface ay ginagamit na paraan upang ayusin ang espasyo sa screen ng monitor ng computer para sa pakikipag-ugnayan sa isang user na tao. Kadalasan, sinusuportahan din ng isang computer system na may mga window interface ang mouse at keyboard bilang mga interactive na device para sa input ng user. Window user interface, so ito yung mga example. Number one is icons. Icons are small image that represent shortcuts to apps or the content. And start menu, tiles are graphical object that represent dynamic links to apps, usually Windows Store apps. Star button, search the web and Windows base. Then operating system is a system software that manage computer hardware, software resources, and provides common services for computer programs. Then, Recycle Bin is the location for files that have been deleted. Quick Access Tool provides access to frequently used commands. Minimize Button reduces window to a button on the taskbar. Then, Maximize Button enlarge button to screen. Close button, scroll bars display different par portion of documents, ribbon consists of tabs, groups, and 
commands groups that provide access to tasks, status bar presents information about documents, progress of certain tasks, status of certain commands and keys, and controls for viewing document. Star button provides menu of tiles and icons to run programs and apps. Tile, title bar display programs and file name. Help button opens help window. Task display app buttons for apps that are running and pin up button that always are on taskbar. Search box searches web and windows for apps, document, website, and more. Then, notification area shows date, time, and includes button to access option for sound, touch keyboard, and more. Hello everyone, my name is Pauline C. Cervantes and I'm going to tackle about the Mac OS Tech Feature 9.2 and etc. Mac OS Tech Feature 9.2 Since it was released in 1984 with Macintosh or Mac computers, Apple Macintosh operating system has earned a reputation for its ease of use and has been the model of most of the new GUIs developed for non-Mac system. In 1984, Macintosh was released Mac OS. Sila yung may hawak ng computer system ng Apple like iPhone, iPad, MacBook, so on and so forth. Mac operating system have purposes for easy to use and nagde-develop din sila ng bagong GUI means graphical user interface. In other terms of GUI is present the system's resources, mostly data files and applications especially for non-Mac users. And also, the latest version of macOS, including of mail, calendars, contacts, and other items sync. Communicate and play games with users of mobile devices running Apple's mobile operating system or iOS. Build in Facebook and Twitter support allows you to post a status, comments, or files from any app. Browser, Safari or Safari, open multiple desktops at once, dictate words, convert to text, support from Braille displays, and lastly, Mac App Stores provides access to additional apps and software updates. Unix is a multitasking operating system developed in the early 70s by scientists at Bell Laboratories. And also, Unix was implemented on many different types of computers. In the 1980s, the source of code for Unix was licensed to many hardware and software companies. To customize for their devices and application interface, similar to Windows that support easy navigation and support environment. In early 1970s, Yung Unix para siyang foundation ng computers or data center ng mga laptops, desktops, and etc. Unix ay isang operating system na sinusuportahan ang multitasking at multi-user functionally. Ang Unix ay pinakamalawak na ginagamit in all forms of computing system. At ang Unix ay meron ding graphical user interface na nagsusupport to easy navigation and support environment. Linux is a popular multitasking Unix-based operating system that runs on a variety of personal computers, servers, devices, and single board computers. Ang Linux ay isang katulad ng Unix, open source at operating system na binubuo ng Community Develop Operating System or OS for computers, servers, mainframes, and etc. Ang bawat version ng Linux OS ay nagmamanage sa mga hardware resources, launches, and handles application, and also provide some form of user's interface. The community for developers and wide range of distributions 
ay nangangahulugan ng Linux version is always available for any task and Linux has many areas of computing. Linux is not proprietary software like the operating system discussed thus far. Instead, Linux is often source software, which means code is provided for use modification and redistribution. Si Linux ay open din sa mga software updates. Ang gumagamit ng Linux ay ang mga programmer at ginagamit din siya sa smartphones, tablets, and any devices compared to Unix na ginagamit lang sa laptops and PCs. Ang difference of between Linux and Unix, si Linux kasi is open source sa mga developer or programmers. Unlike kay Unix, hindi siya open source, kumbaga limited lang siya sa mga gumagamit. May comparison pa silang dalawa, which is si Linux kasi free to use. Ibig sabihin, libre lang siya gamitin. Unlike kay Unix, may license OS pang kailangan gamitin upang ito'y gumana. OS User Interface is installed on Apple computers such as iMacs, MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, Mac Pros, and Mac Minis. The user interface contains components such as the dock, icons, and windows. Mac OS user interface ay mayroon tatlong components. Ito ay dock, icons, and windows. Ang dock Sa macOS desktop is a convenient place to access apps and features na palaging ginagamit araw-araw, for example, launchpad and trash. Ang icons naman is a quickly compre comprehensive symbol ng isang software tool, function, or isang data file na na-access sa system. And also, isa, isa din tong pictogram or ideogram that displayed on a computer screen and to help the user navigate a computer system. OS was introduced by Google. is a Linux-based operating system designed to work primarily with web apps. Chrome OS I Idinisign you to perform all the tasks through the internet and store it in the cloud at hindi mo na kailangan mag-install. Dahil magagamit mo ang web app ng Google at gumagana ang Chrome OS work on laptops design, specifically for this system Chromebook. Books are laptops and two-in-ones running on Google's Chrome operating system. But it looks like a minimalistic web browser base. Chrome OS is a different experience from the Windows and Mac OS laptops you're likely used to. Good evening everyone, my name is Christopher. For my topic, I will discuss the running multiple desktop operating systems. So if you want to run multiple operating on the same computer, you should partition the hard drive or you could create a virtual machine Partitioning divides a hard drive in separate logical storage areas, partitions, that appears as distinct drives. When you partition a drive, you can install a separate operating system in each partition, sometimes called a dual boot, because partitioning requires advanced skills. Users often up to create a virtual machine instead. A virtual machine or VM is an environment on a computer in which you can install and run an operating system and programs. Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In this brief video, I'm going to show you guys how to partition a hard drive on your Windows 10 computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So, assuming you've already hooked up and connected your new hard drive, whether it be an external drive or it's going to be internal, it doesn't really matter as long as it's been connected to our computer. This tutorial is going to show you guys how to partition it. So, we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in format. And right away, the best match should say create and format hard disk partitions. I'm going to left click to open that up. And now, let's say you have a new hard drive or a new disk listed in here. 
process is going to be the same but let's just say I want to break up my current C drive here which is about 24 gigabytes in order to partition this drive I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to left click on shrink volume and then you want to enter the amount you want this new drive to be so again you don't want to take too much from the main drive unless of course you want to but can't be any bigger than the size available so I'm gonna say 1024 megabytes keep in mind this is in megabytes here so 1024 megabytes is equal to one gigabyte and now I'm gonna select shrink and this will shrink our drive and it will lead us to the next step of this tutorial okay so now we can see we have unallocated space here so I'm gonna right click on it and then I'm gonna select new simple volume the new simple volume wizard should launch at this point it will say the wizard helps you create a simple volume on a disk a simple volume can only be on a single disk left click on next I recommend keeping the simple volume size the same as the maximum disk space size then select next you can assign whatever drive letter you want so long as it's not already in use so I'm going to just keep it as E then I'm going to select next you can name the drive whatever you want here I'm just going to keep a new volume it doesn't really matter but if you want to name it something a little bit more personal you're more than welcome to and you also really want to make sure that perform a quick format is selected here then select next click on finish to make and finalize our changes and we should get a notification from Windows that the new drive has been recognized on our computer. So very easy and straightforward to follow guys. I hope you guys follow. The next one is server operating systems. A server operating system is a multi-user operating system that organizes and coordinates how multiple users access and share resources on a network. Client computer and a network rely on servers for access to resources. Examples of server operating system include the followings. The first one is Windows Server. Developed by Microsoft Windows Server, enables organization to manage applications and websites on sites or on the cloud. The second one is Mac OS Server. Developed by Apple. Mac OS Server enables organizations to collaborate, share files, host website and mail servers, and more on Mac computer and iOS devices. The third one is Unix. Capable of handling a high volume of transaction in a multi-use environment and working with multiple processors. And lastly is Linux. Because it provides secure, stable multi-user environment, Linux often is used on web server and on supercomputers. The next one is mobile operating systems. The operating system on mobile devices and many consumers' electronics is called a mobile operating system and resides on firmware. An operating system typically includes or supporting the following calendar and contact management, text messaging, email, touchscreens, accelerometer, digital cameras, media players, speech recognition, GPS navigations, a variety of third-party apps, a browser, and wireless connectivity such as cellular, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. For my last topic, I will tackle about Android. Android is an open source Linux based mobile operating system designed by Google for smartphones and tablets. Features unique to recent version of the Android operating system include the following Google Assistant, Android Pay, Google Play App, Google Drive, Google Photos, Face Recognition, 
speech output assist, and other information by touching two devices together using NFC technology. Voice recognition capability enables user to speak instructions. And lastly, built-in heart rate monitor works with phone apps. That's all my topic. Thank you for listening. Good day everyone. My name is Aaron Cyril Dam from BSDS Web. My report is iOS. What is iOS? iOS is originally called iPhone OS, developed by Apple, is a proprietary mobile operating system specifically made for Apple mobile device. Supported devices include the following, iPad Touch, iPad, Apple manufacturer run, runs iPhone, iPad, iPad Touch, and Apple TV. It is one of the best marketing sales in the technology that will provide in everyone. Featuring unique to recent version of the iOS system include following. Siri, a voice recognition app, is a personal assistant for iOS device. Siri like a Google Assistant for Android users na kapag ginamit mo ito at nagsabi ka ng words ay agad niya it rin itong babanggitin. Apple Pay is a mobile payment. Apple provides Apple Pay app to help the Apple users easily to pay and be compatible in your house not to go in their store. iClouds enable you to sync mail, calendars, contacts, and other items iClouds provides reminders to you and check the calls, texts, and mails in your Apple gadgets. iTunes Store provides access to music, book podcasts, ringtones, and movies. It is like Apple Pay to, pro to provide the payment of your account using this app. Integrates with iPad to play music, video, and other media. With the iPad, you can play a lot of music and video everywhere. Windows Mobile Edition Windows Mobile Edition developed by Microsoft is a proprietary mobile operating system that runs up on some smartphone. Otherwise, Windows in mobile, it is really help to others like every student who cannot afford to buy a computer. Features unique to recent version of the Windows. Mobile Edition operating system includes the following. Cortana, a voice recognition app, it is personal assistant for Windows device. It is the same on Apple, Siri Voice, and Google Voice to recognize and say something easy to use you, can, you cannot type on your phone. Sync photos, files, and settings with OneDrive. For the Android users, it is the same like file manager your photos, videos, and documents that you can save it, it is go in sync and file the manager. Use your phone as remote control for your television. Windows Mobile Edition developed this remote to easily handle your situation if you're tired to stand up in your position area. Access a global catalog of music, videos, or podcasts or listen to iTunes. Like for the iPad, you can listen music and watch video on the Windows Mobile. Geofencing enables your phone to send or receive notification when you enter or exit geographic location. Some of the operating system allow users to control a network and administer security to provide your safety of your account. Microsoft Store provides access to additional app and software updates. For Android users, we will use Play Store to add applications and updates for Microsoft Mobile. You can Microsoft your st Microsoft Store like Play to add and updates the apps. Wallet app provides a centralized location for coupons, edit credit cards, loyal loyalty cards, and member membership in a single, easily accessible location. Windows Mobile provides wallet app to easily handle your cash and be safe on the other hand. Mobile versus, mobile versus Desktop Operating System An operating system has the same role whether for a desktop or mobile device, it is managed opera operations and provides a user interface. Because of this shared role, many similarities exist between the functions of desktop and mobile operating system. 
Mobile are same in desktop operating system because the two are not far from each other. There's, there is similarity between the two that can be placed on them the same home page, settings, file, ma file manager, windows, music, and video. Typical functions included in mobile operating system include the following. Main areas such as a desktop or home screen enable you to access or organize app. It is helps to everyone to see the apps easily and compile in one area. Methods to return to the main area quickly. If you click bait, back or exit, it is easy to go in home page. The ability to recognize the app icons or tiles in the main areas easily by moving them to page or folders or by adding them to menus. You can organize and edit your icons to easily see the applications. System tools are as to manage battery, power, and internet connection options for security settings. System tools like settings in mobile phones helps you to manage your account, password, password on your phone, battery health, and Wi-Fi connection or data.